Pomona Island, now available in supermarkets. Has the world gone crazy? Check out the review for Shoop, a New England IPA from Salt and Pomona Island. Let's get ready to rock. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're reviewing this beer, and this is a beer available in Tesco's. It's called Shoop, and it's a New England IPA. But more importantly, it's with salt, which we've obviously seen salt beers before in supermarkets, and Pomona Island, that brewery based down in, uh, or up wherever you are in the country, based up in Salford, um, not a million miles from where I am here in Northwest. Um, and they make absolute superb beers. So this is the first time that I can remember that I've seen Pomona Island in a supermarket. So let's see whether this is as good as some of their absolute excellent beers that are available through the bottle shops. So let's get this beer out of the can and into a glass. New England IPA, as people know that follow this channel regularly, it's one of my favorite types of craft beer. Beer in the glass, look at that, beautiful, yellowy, hazy, got a nice two finger head there, certainly looks the part, and I'm always, I'm always already smelling some of the aromas here. So this beer, it says, a New England IPA packed and stacked with tropical hop aromas, we dipped into our bag of tricks to bring you juicy New England IPA, smooth bodied and low in bitterness, not shy with a dry hop of Vic Secret, Enigma and Motika. Expect aromas of passion fruit, lime, pineapple, and melon. So we've got three different types of hops in this. Vic Secret, Enigma, and Motika. Not the three common ones, so I'm interested to see what this is going to be like. So let's get some aromas. Yeah, I mean, it's fruity and tropical, but they don't sort of jump out at you. You're getting pineapple in there. Yeah, I can see the sort of pie, the lemon and the and the, the sorry, lemon and lime and sort of that melon as well, which is um, quite strong. Yep, yeah, and there's a bit actually in passion fruit as well, but the you you can just about make them out, but they don't really sing. Uh, that, you know, this is the wary thing I have about some of the supermarket beers. You just know that if you when you buy them from the bottle shops, they sort of open the can and they can really sing to you. You know, the, the aromas just somewhat come out. But the supermarkets seem to be a little bit less. I when I drain the can, I will check and see when it will see how fresh this is. But without further ado, let's try it, shall we? Cheers, everyone. Very low levels of carbonation, nice and soft. Not overly soft, not as soft as some of the others, but it's soft, but it, it's very refreshing. I quite like that. In fact, I like it a lot, actually. There is, an, it is as, as we have mentioned before, supermarket beers can have that sort of element of a little bit, a little bit more watery, and, and this has got that. But let's not take away the fact that this is a three quid. I can't remember if it was three pound or three pound fifty, but it's a free three and a half quid can of beer, and it is absolutely super, superb. You've got those flavours of pineapple, but they're quite subtle. The pineapple, you've got that citrusy refreshingness, passion fruit, a little bit of mango, a lot of all the tropical papaya and 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 everything. There's no grapefruit though. There's no there's no bitterness at all. It's very soft, very it's quite dry as well, which which I love in a beer. I'm actually really enjoying this. I don't know if it's just because it's my first beer of the night. Um, there's something there's something about it that's just holding it back a little bit. I think it's the pineapple flavour. The pineapple flavour sort of comes and then. You get these other flavours and then the pineapple sort of hits back again. It sort of rolls back over your tongue. And it's a little bit, I don't know, a little bit sharp, a little bit not quite right, not the flavours. And quite and quite interesting because a lot of New England IPAs, you might have Citra, Mosaic. This hasn't got Citra, Mosaic. This has got Vic Secret. I've heard of all these hops. Vic Secret, Enigma, again, that's used a lot. And Muteka, Muteka, I think that's how you pronounce it. I've heard that as well. But it's... And they combine together to make this quite pleasant 
New England IPA, quite soft, fruity, but there's just there's something missing. I can't put my finger on it, just something a little bit missing. And I keep drinking it thinking it's gonna come. I think it's, a lot of these beers, you know, you get that lovely wash of flavors when you first drink it, and you get that tropical flavors, pineapples and, and, and limes and, you know, uh, passion fruit, mango as well. But then you then it needs something else just to sort of finish it off, and this sort of it it's sort of it's very watery on that on the on the sort of back end a little bit, and you get a little bit of pineapple, but it sort of tastes a little bit just not quite right. But it is a damn good beer, and it's a great beer to be in supermarkets, and it's great to see Pomona back so back or well, in the supermarket for the first time. So hope may it continue. Um, it's a great beer. I'm ready for some scores. Welcome back. Okay, scores are in. Four. Salt and Pomona Island Shoop New England IPA. This is a 6.4% ABV. It's a New England IPA and it's in a 440ml can available from Tesco's. Four free, maybe three, three and a half quid. Well, I'm not sure which one it was. Probably three and a half quid actually. So first thing first, aroma. There was certainly those aromas of pineapple, passion fruit, and then a little bit of sort of uh, zesty sort of lemon and limes as well. But it, it there was a it seemed a bit subdued. It, it didn't really sort of didn't sort of bounce out of the glass and, and around the sort of you know into your nose and, and, and get those taste buds going. A little bit diluted, I suppose I would say. So I'm marking it down for that a little bit. It doesn't sing as a doesn't sort of sing from to me in terms of the aromas. So I'm gonna get 12 out of 20. Appearance, well, I mean, it's a hazy, you know, New England IPA. It's pretty, like, it's, it's not the sort of, uh, it, it's not the most, you know, purest yellowy color. The head's a little bit sort of lacking. Nice lace in the glass, but it's not the best. And it's not the worst, certainly not the worst. It's, it's very pleasurable, but seven out of 10 for appearance. Uh, flavour, obviously the most important thing. Well, I mean, I'm drinking this down pretty quickly. It certainly has flavours similar to the aromas. There's a bit of pineapple. There's passion fruit in there as well. Um, and you get that little bit of uh, citrusy sort of flavours as well. There's no bitterness. It's fairly soft, low levels of carbonation. It's, it, it's a very pleasant, but it, again, it, it like some supermarket beers that we've talked about before, it tastes a little diluted, a little bit lacking in, in real flavors. And for a New England IPA, you really get that real punchy flavors. It's 6.4%, which for a New England IPA is probably at the lower end of the, of the level, and that may be why they're lacking a bit. But it certainly tastes nice. There's nothing wrong with it. There's certainly no bitterness, and it's got a nice dryness as well. So I'm gonna get 33 out of 40. Value for money. I should have really worked out it was three or three and a half quid, but either way, it's still damn good value for money. For a supermarket beer, it's is it up there with Pomona's sort of beers, which you're paying four and a half, five, five and a half quid for? No, not really, not like they're usual. Maybe Salt has, you know, <laughs> hasn't really sort of brought brought the best out of them. But it's still great value for money. Supermarket beers, we need to applaud those. Um, I'll give it a nine out of 10 though. And then my overall experience, well, there's nothing wrong with this beer at all. It goes down really quick. It's a nice New England IPA, but it just tastes that little bit lighter. But it means that it's a, it, it tastes a lot more sessionable. I could drink two or three of these. Some New England IPAs are so sort of big and heavy and strong, full of fruit flavors, but a little bit sort of, you know, too alcoholic. So you only want to drink one or maybe two of them. But this one is, is almost, I, I dare say, I can't really say sessionable at 6.4%, but it goes down really well, as you can see here. I'm gonna finish this before the end of the video, which is not not common at all. So I'm gonna get a 14 out of 20 for my overall experience. Totting those up, we get a 75. If there's one thing that's consistent on this channel is those marks for beers within the 70s. White Snake, it's a White Snake beer. It's um, it, it's a give me all your love. It's a bad boy. It's a children of the night. A solid White Snake song. So we're going to slip this down, even slide it in very slow and easy. And until the next one, keep on rocking.